Almighty Father, the King of all glory, we want to thank you. We want to bless you this morning. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And we lift up our hands to say, Lord, receive glory this morning. Amen. Thank you. Father, we thank you because by the measure of your name, every name must bow. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you because it is by you we are alive. Thank you, Father. Daddy, we thank you because it is by you we have not consumed. Yes, sir. Daddy, oh Lord, I thank you because when men slept, the enemy came to sue. Mm -hmm. But the seed, you are aware of the seed that the enemy has sued. Father, you yes, said your word that any tree that is not planted by the name of my father must be uprooted. Yes. And on this morning, we command every evil seed that will be sold into our life. Father, we command those things right now to be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Amen. We command every seed right now to be rooted out. Holy Ghost, Amen. go ahead, my Father, and let your name below be glorified. Amen. That at the end of today, we will have the cause to rejoice, Lord. But I come and speak to us in the language we will understand this morning. But I please that for us, O Lord, and open our eyes of understanding that we may understand the Lord. Blessed be the Holy Name, Father. In the Lord, the Lord be glorified. Amen. Just may we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Brothers and sisters, thank you, Jesus. By God's grace, I want to appreciate God, who is our faithful God, who is our defender, who is the hope of our joy. I want to thank God for what He's doing. Mm -hmm. I'm receiving testimonies. Testimonies are coming of what God is doing. <laughs> By tomorrow, I will allow people to be sharing testimony <laughs> so that you will know God is in the midst of his people. You will know that you are in a safe place. And I pray that you that have not received your testimony, that your testimony will not pass you by. <laughs> Amen. I pray that this month of September, your testimony will not pass you by. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All the evil hijackers that hijack people's testimony will not hijack your testimony. Amen. All the evil killers that keep people's blessing will not kill your blessing. Amen. In this month of September, God will pity you as a father pity his children. Amen. And at the end, the name of the Lord will be praised. Amen. This morning, we are looking into a message that says, Save yourself. Save yourself. In this wicked world, the world we are, where sin is not a bar, where immorality is no longer a sin anymore, where adultery is no longer a sin, you must save yourself. I said what? You must save yourself. You must separate yourself away from the society. If there is no separation between you and the world, you will face the torment. You must save yourself. Somebody may begin to ask, how can I save myself? And I, in the course of this message, I will show you how you can save yourself. That is a personal journey a journey that I will not, I cannot uh, save you when we cross to the other side. You must save yourself a time like this to attach yourself to the truth. 
you must save yourself by holding on the truth gospel. You must save yourself by separating away from some pastors that are not called by God. The people you are following on social media, you must save yourself. You must save yourself by separate, disconnecting yourself away from the people, any man or woman, whether you call it your daddy Jew or your mommy Jew or your baba Jew, I don't know what you call them, or my pastor, or my prophet, or my prophet, or my, my evangelist, my brother, there is a need of separation. Let's read in the book of uh, first, first Timothy, first reader, First Timothy chapter 4. Let's take it from verse 1 to 16 to really see what the Lord is telling us. First Timothy chapter 4. Are we there? Nobody's there? First Timothy chapter 4. And this are verse what? Read from verse 1. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly yes. that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Two, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience sealed with a hot lap. Iron, theory, forbidding to marry and commanding to be abstained from me, which God had created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. So, for every creature of God is good, hallelujah, and nothing to be refused if it to be received with thanksgiving. Five. For it is satisfied by the word of God and prayer. Amen. This, if thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourished up in the word of faith and of good doctrine, whereunto thou art attained. Seven, but refuse for fun and old wives' fabs. And exercise thyself rather unto goodness, goodness. Eight, for boldly exercise profiteth little, for godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. Nine, this is a faithful saying, now worthy of all acceptation. Ten, for therefore we both labor and suffer reproach, because we trust in the living God, who is the Savior of all men, especially of those that believe. Hallelujah. 11. These things command and teach. 12. Let no man despise thy youth, but ye thou an example of the believers in the world, in the conversation, in charity. In spirit, in faith, in purity. Thirteen, still I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Fourteen, neglect not the gift that is in thee, hallelujah, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on the hands of the prof of the presbytery. Fifteen, meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, that they profit may appear, appear to all. 16. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Amen. God bless you. You can see 
that the word of God is true. Letting us know that a time like this will come, a perennial time. It's a, it's a now the spirit that speaketh especially that in the latter time, in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seduce the spirit and what and the doctrines of the devil. The doctrine of the devil is everywhere today in the church. If you are not careful, this doctrine of the devil, you may fall on you, you may fall on it. If you are not careful of those people you call men of God, if you are not careful, even right now, there are many Bible, but satanic Bible. You need to also be careful of the Bible you are buying. You need to know this. Many Bible today are satanic Bible, not the Bible of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because Satan himself has transformed himself to become the angel of light, using, using men and women to accomplish his assignment. But God is still raising men and women to accomplish his own assignment. Therefore, as you key in to the truth you are hearing, the word of eternal life, the truth message you are hearing, you key in. And thou we say that same. And even those that we hear it be. Living a holy a holy life as a child of God. We must live a holy life. What does it mean when we talk of living a holy life? Simply means we must put sin aside. We must depart away from sin. Whether Bartholomew is there or Bartholomew is not there. Whether a sister is watching or nobody is watching is a personal decision that I have decided to save my soul. That saving my soul, how you can save your soul is you that will say right now, goodbye to immorality. The day I make a decision, it was nobody forced me. I make a, this decision. It is a decision you must make it personally. It is not a something that Husband and wife can say, right now we must do it, do or die business. No. A husband cannot even force the wife. If a husband wants to force the wife, it will cause a great trouble in the, in the home. If the wife want to, want to force the husband, it will destroy the home. It's a personal decision, a decision that came inside the heart. If you have not made your decision, that if you did not make a, a, a sincerity, a sincerity decision, a sincere decision. Now, somebody force you to do that thing, you cannot able to stand. If somebody force you right now, I let, for instance, I oppose you right now, brother, you must leave this boy girlfriend alone. If I oppose you for that, and then you really do it, and the thing did not come inside your heart, you cannot able to work to stand. There is a decision that came inside their heart. Living a holy life, if you read verse, if you read 12, it says, let no man despise their youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. I used to be an example to your husband, to your wife, to your children? Are you be an example? In conversation that you are talking to people, that you don't lie, that your children are seeing you, that you are a liar. You are lying to your husband, you are lying to your wife. Your children, they are seeing you. What are you doing now? You are building your children with the spirit of love. But, be an example in conversation. Be an example in world. 
Be an example in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. When you do this, you will save yourself from the rot to come. Be an example in sincerity. Brothers, are you really sincere? Do you really make God as the first priority in your life? All these things, we must put all these things into congregation. We must do everything possible to know that God should be the first priority. There are many of you, you put God as a secondary market. You put God as a third. But I want to tell you, it will not save you. Making God to be the second priority or third priority, God is not about one priority in your life. Your life is your life is in danger. That you want to do something, you don't first of all ask. You don't first of all say, "Ah, let me do what will please God first before I do what will please me." You want to do what will please your flesh before you do what please God. We must, be, we must do everything possible to remain steadfast of God and follow the teaching we are hearing day and night. We must do everything possible to hold on to that sound, to that sound doctrine we have received. You have been hearing it. You have been hearing it. Do everything possible to hold on to that sound doctrine. Let's first of all read in the book of um, First Timothy chapter 1, verse 18. First Timothy chapter 1, verse 18. Let's see what, have you, what is penned down there. Are you there? First Timothy chapter 1, verse 18. Nobody's there? And yes, sir. Read, please. I read in Jesus' name. This charge I commit unto the son Timothy, according to the prophecy which went before on thee, that thou by them mightiest war a good warfare. Yes, God bless you. Please, when we say open the Bible, you open your Bible, you should be happy that you are reading the word of God. I ask you to be reading Bible so that you will be seeing what has been penned down for you and for me. Open your Bible. Some of you don't even have Bible. He said, this child I, command, I commit unto thee, O son Timothy, according to the word, to the prophecy, which went before on thee, that thou may, that thou by them May it want a good welfare. Friend, now God is no longer talking to Timothy. He's not talking to you and I. This child I commit unto thee, O Bartholome, that I may abide, that I may be able to warn that the battle, that I may be able to be, to be saved from the wrath that will come to the world. In a time like this, that now many pastors, many general overseers are jeopardizing with the truth gospel of Christ. Why? Because such people, they are already sold their soul to Satan, but now Satan has given them assignment. Satan has given them contract of the numbers of souls they must bring to hell. Because of that, they are doing all their best, doing all their mag eh, 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 magician, doing everything, all their barakata, to make sure that they accomplish their project. But you and I that have the opportunity to be hearing the message, we must engage for bringing souls to open the eyes of the people. That is why he said, take ye Take heed unto the self 
and unto the daughter. Continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Thou shalt both save thyself and those people that hear the message. But I want to show you something that on the, a time is coming when you cannot, neither I cannot able to what? We cannot able to save anybody when we cross to the other side of, them, of, of life. That a time is coming that anybody, any man or woman that think that he or a pastor can carry him or her to heaven, a time is coming when such thing will not happen. I show you a place in the book of Ezekiel. Please, let's read Ezekiel chapter 14. Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 14. Let's see whether you think that the pastor that is telling you right now you are under him. I want to tell you that you are under him. You are not it's just a time. You cannot tell. He, he cannot save you on that day. Are we there? Ezekiel chapter yes, 14, sir. verse 14. Read Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 14, uh, 16. And then we read uh, 18. Let's read. Though this three, I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Though these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they should deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, saith the Lord God. 16. Though these three men were in it, as I live, saith the Lord God, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughter, daughters. They only shall be delivered, but the land shall be desolate. Verse 18. Though these three men were in it, as I live, saith the Lord God, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters, but they only shall be delivered themselves. 20. Verse 20. Though Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, as I live, saith the Lord God, they shall deliver neither son nor daughter. They shall but deliver their own souls by their righteousness. God bless you. Do you see? I, I want, I, I allow us to see if this is the word of God. He continue to repeat it. For you to know, let pastor not, let pastor not deceive you that you are under his grace. My brother is just is a limit that my grace cannot take you to heaven. My grace will enable you to enjoy the benefit of God. What will enable you to reach heaven is you repenting for your sin and live a holy life. That is your certificate. That is your certificate. Brother, I want to ask the people that go to school, the people that have their certificate, please, you need to answer me. Can it, the government, the society, uh, did they allow anybody to use another person's certificate to work? No, sir. Um, eh? No, they sir. Don't, they don't allow, am I right? Your yes, own certificate sir. is your own certificate. But now, you will not tell me that my own certificate that you will use it to enter heaven is allowed. It's not going to work. Are they allowed in the airport? Are they allowed you to use another person's passport to travel? I'm asking a question. No, sir. They, they don't allow it. Your passport is what? If your passport. My passport is my passport. But now, yes, how can God allow you to use my passport to enter heaven. Mm -hmm. Neither son nor daughter said the Lord. Why is it that? Because this is, this is their own garment. Another person cannot wear that garment. But somebody is deceiving you or telling you uh, gathering people of a one night church and you will not begin to use them to compare what you are hearing here. I pity such person. 
that you tell me after you hear the truth, instead of you to abide and live, and you now begin to tell me you have pastor, you have you are coming for big church, my friend. There is no big church when we cross to the other side. When we cross to the other side, we will really see the music. But you have opportunity to know the truth. Children, your mom and your dad cannot save you when we cross to the other side. You can see if these people, Daniel, Job, and Noah, man the world, the Lord said, said, he said, this, uh, those three men, these three men, as I live, said the Lord, they shall deliver neither sons or daughters. They only shall be delivered. But mark the word, only them. There is no, there is no, I will carry you for back. You are my son. You know that you are my honey now. You know I love you so much, wife. I will carry you for back. It's a lie. When we cross, my friend, husband, it's like this. You stand on your own. I stand on my own. Remember the topic C? C that was that said in the rods of God that is coming to the world. Save yourself. And I told you how you can save yourself by living a holy life. You must make God to be your first priority. You must separate yourself away from all this worldliness, worldly dressing, immorality, all these things, proud, ego, all these things, for showing the things of this world. Many people have neglected their building in heaven. They are no longer sending material, but they are sending material of building, the, building their earthly house, the house where you will not sleep. I, I traveled yesterday to a place, to a city, and I, I was told that the person that died is because of the, the family killed his brother because of his property. They want to share his property. They have that his property. That's why they kill this young boy. The wickedness of this world. Wickedness of Africa. Wickedness of people. If you ask those people now, they will tell you they are Christians because pastors have deceived them. But I will not come here and begin to tell you rubbish. I tell you what I know, not what I don't know. Let's read in a book of um, We must be guided, we must guide our feet. We must guide our feet at all times. In First Timothy chapter 6, verse 20. And after that, let somebody read for us again. In the book of Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 3 to uh, 13 to 14. Let's read in First Timothy chapter 6, verse 20. Are we there? Yes, sir. Read, please. Yes, Timothy 6, 20. Oh, Timothy. Oh, Go Timothy. Yeah. Oh, Timothy. Keep that which is committed to the trust. Avoid avoiding profound and vain blabbing and oppositions of signs falsely so called. Yes, God bless you. Now, God is talking to you. No more, Timothy. Keep that wish is coming onto the trust, the truth you have had. Keep it. Don't let anybody take it out of your life. Walk in it. Abide in it. Live as an example. You will see what God is going to do. Because of the time we move forward now. In 2 Timothy chapter 1, Verse 13 to 14. Are we there? Yeah, 13. Hold fast the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me 
in faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. 14. That that good things which that good thing which was committed unto thy unto thee, keep by the Holy Ghost, which dwelleth in us. Yes. Hold what? Hold fast. The form of the sun word, the sun message you have been hearing. Hold it fast. Hold it fast, which thou have what have heard of me. Have I not been giving you the message of eternal life? I'm asking a question. Have you not been hearing it from me? Yes, sir. Have you not been hearing it from me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Brothers and sister, have you not been hearing it? You need to. If no, just tell me no. Have you not been hearing it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. Hold it what? Hold it strong. Don't let pastor to deceive you. Don't let them to tell you right now you are, they are looking, they are telling you I feel a Christian. Yes. But I want to tell you, feeble Christian, we we really we see who are feeble from the when we cross to the other side. They will tell you, look at you. They will tell you, why are you dressing like this? They will tell you, you dress like old woman. Friend, yes, it's better you become old woman, but when you cross over, you become young. You know, here people that say they say, but Abraham, but Abraham is very young. Have you not hear people that say they see Jesus? Sometimes he comes like a, a, a little baby. But Jesus, before the foundation of the world, he has been existing. He has never got old. He still remains today. You need to know that the truth you have been hearing, hold it word fast. In faith and in love, which is in Christ Jesus. That good things which was committed unto thee. Keep by word by the Holy Ghost which dwelleth in us. Don't neglect the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit is, is rebuking you, telling you you are living in immorality. Stop it. The Holy Spirit is telling you that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. You are driving with the Holy Ghost. You still need to stop it and change. We must do everything possible to watch over one spirit life, one spiritual life. We must do everything possible to watch over one spiritual life. The other people that are falling, we must do everything possible to bring them in. That every day by day, as you are hearing, it, that they also may be guided and walk and live a holy life. And we must do all these things as we children of God. Those things are what an end, end, an endless for his own soul. Those things that uh, those things was endless of his own salvation also to God. He's doing it as you are helping other people. What happened? You are guiding your own soul. It is very, very important. Let's read this final place we close. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, from verse 13 to 15. We close with that because of the time. Second Timothy chapter 3, from verse 13 to 15. But evil men and seducers shall worse worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Mm. 15. And that... <clears throat> And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation, true faith, which is in Christ Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Do you see that? It's making us to understand that evil men, evil men, and deceiving men, they will be in the world. They are already in the world. They are in the church today. You need to be careful of the church you go these days. If the church you are going, they are not preaching holiness, what are you doing there? 
where we have online program that you can follow and hear the truth and what and prepare yourself to be able to say zoom when the trumpet sound that for you to be a place where they are dancing kokuma you hold on you say you are a leader in the church but you are you are you are not a god didn't even know you that you are a child not to talk of a leader you are just a leader in the secret court or satan you don't know what are you not doing there what are you doing there where what we are hearing here you don't hear in the place of the culture what are you doing there is it something you need to know that the lord of heaven is talking to us he said bad words he said but continue thou in the things which thou have learned and have what as be as sure of knowing of who thou have what have learned have learned them what knowing this that and that from a child that have known the holy scriptures brother do you know the holy scripture many people don't know the holy scripture that is why pastors are, do, are deceiving them the bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free hold on to this word the problem today many people fail to know the truth and some people know the truth and they fail to live by it when you live by the truth you are hearing, you can never have problem. I was telling somebody yesterday, I said, woman, hold on to the message. If before anybody can kill you, the person need to first of all bring God, come down. He will tear God and he will bring out Jesus. He will tear Jesus before he will bring you out. Is there anybody that can do that? Eh? No. No, sir. Is anybody that can do that? You bring God, come down, you no, tell God. Sir. And my friend, simply this small, small witches and wizards that are renting, they have no power over you. Why you are, why they are slapping you, why they come, they give you back hand, why they come, they draw your ear, why they come sometimes they draw your mouth. Witches and wizards is because you are the one that gave them permission to come and begin to draw your mouth. Why? Because you fail to abide by the truth you are hearing. You are hearing it, but you fail to live by it. And that cost pay to you. Brothers, but you must save yourself this time. You must save yourself and break out of the, of the error, of the sinfulness of this world. Be honest. Be sincere. Don't let somebody deceive you. This is the manual of God. Hold on to this manual. Everything that is written here from Genesis to Revelation, don't take anything aside. Eat it. Meditate on it. Abide in it and live at it. And it will never deceive you. Bow down your head this morning and talk to God. And tell the Lord to help you. And tell him, Lord, I have heard it again. I have heard the word again. Lord, help me. Lord, I want to save myself. If you don't save yourself, friend, if you compromise, when the trumpet sound, you will miss out. And if you miss out, you will face the real Antichrist. Eternal Father, we want to thank you. We want to bless you. Your word is true. And your word is life. Your word has the final say. Your word is power. Your word is freedom. I thank you this morning. Your word has come into our heart. Immortal Father, we have had it. Today, I am ready to obey. I am ready to abide by the word I am hearing. The truth. Merciful Father, help me, O oh Lord, that I will not depart away. Help me, O oh Father, to stand to the end of this journey. I pray for as many those that are hearing my voice right now, 
saying, Lord, I repent. Saying, Lord, I give up. Saying, Lord, here am I. Saying, Lord, I surrender. Saying, Lord, I make a decision. Lord, give them the great grace to follow you. Give them the enablement. Give them the sufficient grace to abide by the truth. Whether courage or shine. Lord, you said in the time of trouble, you will always be there for us. Father, in the time of temptation, Lord, give them the courage. The courage to say no. The courage to say no. I buy the truth and sell it not. Father, are there people that have been going to offices of, to lie, to get money? But I pray, Father, you will knock out away those habits. Lord, those spirits, those things, my Father, that does not glorify you. Lord, I pray. Lord, only you can do it. As your children yield themselves unto you, Father, let your word guide them. Let your word protect them. Let no evil men, evil pastors deceive them. Lord, I pray that you will keep them going. That at the end of this journey, all of us will have the cause to rejoice. Lord, I pray that in Bible, I pray that I may not be a cast away after I preach to others. Lord, help me to abide in this teaching, to live as an example, Lord, in word, Lord, in conversation, Lord, in charity, Lord, in purity. I will be an example to all of them. That at the end, we have the cause to rejoice, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen.